Hi again everyone, welcome back. So today um, we're going to talk about May Day in, in the UK. So May Day in the UK is the 1st of May and internationally this day is famous as International Workers Day um, but it's not really celebrated as that in the UK and I'm going to elaborate a little bit on that um, in this episode. So um, firstly, I should say that although the 1st of May is officially May Day, um, they, it is always celebrated on the first Monday of May. And you may or may not know that that's very common with bank holidays in the UK. Um, typically, they are celebrated on a Monday. So um, it's the first May in, it's the first Monday in May, it's the last Monday in May, the last Monday in August. So it's uh, it's quite nice because you are almost gar always guaranteed a long weekend. Um, so that's one of the interesting things as well about how bank holidays in general are celebrated in the UK. So according to history.com, I'm just going to quote a little bit from their website. Um, this celebration, May the 1st, has its, uh, it is um, of Celtic origin. And it says, the Celts of the British Isles believed May the 1st to be the most important day of the year when the festival of Beltane was held. This May Day festival was thought to divide the year in half between the light and the dark. Symbolic fire was one of the main rituals of the festival, helping to celebrate the return of life and fertility to the world. When the Romans took over the British Isles, they brought with them their five-day celebration known as Floralia, or Floralia, <laughs> devoted to the worship of the goddess of flowers, Flora, taking place between April the 20th and May the 2nd. The rituals of this celebration were eventually combined with Beltane. So like many of the other celebrations in the, um, in the UK, um, it probably had a, a Celtic or a pagan origin, and then they were combined with a Roman uh, celebration. But I think we can all agree that this basically is a celebration of spring and the, the new, new life, um, flowers, everything beautiful associated with this uh, time of year. So a typical May Day um, would look like, um, well, let's describe some of the main features. For me, the biggest thing that I remember is the May Pole, um, which is basically a huge, tall pole, like five meters high, I think, very tall, very tall, maybe not that tall, but I really, it seemed that big when I was a child, but a really tall pole, and at the top, um, you attach ribbons, and uh, many ribbons of many different colors, and then around the pole, um, you have dancers. Uh, typically, it, it would be children, but it doesn't have to be. And each person or each child holds one of the coloured ribbons and they perform a dance. And with that dance, they will um, wrap uh, in the ribbons one over the other to form a pretty pattern. And then sometimes they will undo them with a different dance in order to, to return the ribbons to their original state. And maybe they repeat again to create a different pattern. It's really cute and it's really nice. It's accompanied by folk music typically as well. And um, yeah, many villages will decorate their, um, their, the town with extra flowers. Um, they might have a special fair or a fete as well where the villagers will come together and um, celebrate maybe on the village green or in a park somewhere. Um, maybe they organise a sale of cakes and crafts and other things. And it's generally just a great time to be outside. The days are longer um, and that kind of thing. Um, historically, I remember, I'm not sure if they still do that any, this anymore, but I remember that they used to um, choose um, a May queen, a May Day queen, every year um that would usually be um, a girl from the village and she would be crowned queen for the day and be given flowers and maybe go around in a carriage it really depends on the village um my uh biggest memory from may day is um i remember how we used to practice a dance at school and organize um uh special things on the school field to to celebrate this day together so yeah i remember 
dancing around the maypole <laughs> with ribbons and I used to really enjoy enjoy this time I remember the general atmosphere in the in the town uh, I remember lots of people used to go down to the river and uh, if the weather was good it was always uh, very lovely um, another typical thing that I remember um, again I'm not sure that it's still that popular um, is Morris dancing. So Morris dancing is a special kind of dance. I think it's very um, ancient in its origins, actually, where um, I think historically it's men, although I think there are more and more women becoming involved or were more involved with Morris dancing. Uh, they dance with sticks and bells, uh, bells on their ankles. They generally have very elaborate hats um, decorated with flowers and uh, it, it's a very interesting folk dance to, 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 to observe and a little bit eccentric as well, which I think is quite interesting for people who think, oh, the UK is very serious and, the, and they don't uh, do these kind of things. But yeah, you can really see people letting their hair down and having a good time um, around this time of year. Um, I don't, I think it's a, not just my opinion, but I think it used to be celebrated more I think there was more of a community spirit in the past I think now uh, as families become more spread out and maybe you don't stay in your hometown for work or other reasons you move away so I don't think this is celebrated in quite the same way that it was when I was a child I remember it used to be one of my favorite times of of year and in the last few years when I was in the UK before I moved here to Spain um I don't remember it being such a big event as it was in the past. And so that is a pity, that is a shame, because it was a special way for the community to come together. They used to get together and share food and other things. And obviously in the last couple of years, it's been absolutely impossible to celebrate because of the pandemic. But well, hopefully when all of this difficult situation passes, think people will be able to be more... Um, they'll be more interested in getting back together again. I think people have really missed that community spirit. So maybe this will push people back together when we are able to, to get back together again. I hope so. So um, yeah, I've included some pictures in the slide so you can see how this is celebrated in the UK. I think this really, it's, a, it's a good one to have a visual for, but, and I'll also put some links down below if you want to learn any, a, a bit more about uh, the history of May Day. Um, um, any of the features, the, May, the maypole dancing, maybe you have something like that in your country. I think it's common in other countries too. Anything that looks similar to, to Morris dancing, that would be great as well to hear about um, how other cultures celebrate the, the spring. So thanks again for listening. Take care. Bye.